Zoom, 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 let go. What up, what, what, what up? You can't see me here today back at game. You already know what it is. Rim World Alpha 13, a colony builder simulator by Tiny Sylvester. Hey, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Leave those comments and share because it feels good. And if you like what I do, check out my Patreon, man. Any support is greatly appreciated. Okay, so we're going to jump right in. Um, in our last episode, we built a recreation room with a chess table. And we added some stone stockpiles for easy access for our people as they work. We added wood flooring to some of our rooms to boost the room ratings because people, as they grow, want to have the rooms looking better. And we made a few equipment racks that you can store equipment in, but I use, mainly use them for weapons because it gives people easy access to weapons. So they don't just leave them laying on the ground. And then right here you see we're working on the tunnel wall defense uh, trap method or the tunnel wall trap defense method. That's what I like to call it. And shout out to my man, Blaine Sarge. Check out Blaine, B-L-A-A-N, Sarge. Um, he has a great channel and he does a Rim World series. And he showed this method as far as putting traps down and luring your enemies in and then they get hit by these traps and weaken. So I like to call it the trap wall, the tunnel wall trap defense method. I got to get it right. So yeah. So on each of our entrances, um, when you start your colony, there's usually open sides. Um, I like to find a place where I'm surrounded by some mountains or, you know, certain areas that that guide the enemies into it. So you're ready for them because they're going to raid you. They're going to attack you. They come with guns. They come with weapons. They're ready to shoot. They're ready to they ready to destroy you on here. So you got to get your defense up. Now, they come in slow to give you time to grow, unless you got it on just super hard. But um, you definitely got to get your defenses up. So what I'm doing here, I'm uh, tunneling away or mining away some of this, this mountain. And then I'm building this wood entrance. And what you do with the tunnel wall trap defense method, you leave, you leave it, actually leave it open. Instead of putting a door up that they got to break through and then you got to repair the door, you just leave it open. But... You make it this narrow walkway that they got to go through and you put traps down. So the only way they can get in is to walk over the traps. And when they walk over the traps, it either weakens or kills them. I mean, it even works great with these mechanoid aliens that come through. They're like these powerful robots that is very hard to kill. And it helps with them, too. So um, what I'm doing right now, I'm adding some fuel generators. And just because my colony's growing, you start to use more power the more your colony grows. This is an open side to the northwest uh, of my colony. You can see my crops over there to the right. So I'm building this big wall. And then what I'm going to do is use the tunnel wall trap defense method. So you see how they're going to come in right there to the left. It's wide open, but I'm making this wall extend up. Then you put these doors and you put the doors parallel all the way through the walls. And shout out to my colonists, man. They be right on it building as soon as I lay down the blueprints. So your colonists will go through those doors because they can get hurt by the traps once we lay the traps. So you need these doors for them to get out. Well, the enemies won't try to go through the doors. They'll just come in because they say, oh, it's open. So you see me laying this trap right here. And you can lay as many as you want. I'm going to just do like three or four right now just because I don't have a lot of resources. So you see, boom. You see you making the trap. And then she goes out the door instead of going over the trap. Boom, she comes down. She's uh, fixing or building this other trap. Boom, and you see she goes out. So oh, we're getting raided. So we actually may get to see it in action. Oh, you know what? Let's see, what, well, let's see where they're at. Let's see where they're at. Ah, we're about to get raided. So you see the enemies come, man, and they come, they come ready. They come ready to attack. So I they're going to come in this way. Oh, I don't have any traps down. So you see they will come through this narrow gap, but I don't have any traps down. I'm going to try to put some down before they get here, but I think they're attacking right now. Sometimes they'll wait to attack, but I think they're coming straight at us. So put a trap here put a trap here you just put them in between intermittently through the doors and i'm gonna try to get somebody to work on this but i, I really don't think we're gonna have enough time so we're just gonna have to defend uh, with my people and with the weapons because yeah they come into attack 
So yeah, man, I hope everything has been well with you, with everybody. Thank you for stopping through and checking me out. Thank you for supporting. Shout out to all my gaming channels, all of my peoples out there, all of my folk you see coming through, leaving comments, watching the vids, man. You see them in the communities, man. It's some great people, man. Check out my recommended channels, man. Check them out, man. So many of my folks out here be supporting. Some great channels out there, man. Great channels. So yeah, definitely, definitely. Check out some of my folks. All right, so trying to prepare here. Um, let's see, what do I need? What do I need? Um, you got to put your people in a draft they call it draft it just basically puts them in a ready for war state um so they're ready to defend or attack they'll just drop whatever they're doing because otherwise they'll just keep working um until the enemy actually gets close and then when they're in danger they're, they'll flee if you have them uh chosen to flee when danger is near my turrets will also attack when they start to enter so i'm just bringing some people down getting them ready See, trying to get him to work on this trap. Even even one trap will help. We got some metal right here. Yeah. You're not gonna make it that too close. Oh, they too close. They too close. Alright, so let's see. So they're entering. So what I'm doing, I'm just getting some defenses ready. You see, I got my man that's shooting. And I'm going to bring people just placing them strategically at a different spot so that they can attack, they can shoot. It may be easier just to melee them, just to come up and fight them or stab them. Um, that actually works pretty well, too. You know, when your people's shooting isn't that great, they, they miss a lot. They'll hit them, but they'll miss, and they may get close and approach them. Let's see. Um, telling them who to attack. Let me zoom in some. So you see, luckily, they only got clubs and bows and arrows. This is a very primitive colony attack. So, bam. We shooting them, but it's probably easier to melee. So let me get him to melee. Get this person to melee as well. Ugh. Oh, oh, you hit him with the shotty. You over there with the shotgun blast, and she hit him with the shotty around her peoples. Now, that's a good shot when you can shoot around your people with a shotgun. Yo, she got her shooting skills up. So, yeah, I'm gonna just get them to melee this guy, just rush him. They got one dude that made it in the top, so he's shooting. Boom. Oh, he hit my girl with the uh, bow and arrow. Man. We gonna totally ambush him. We hit him in the back. Boom! She hit him with the shotty in the back, laying him down. Now this one guy, he <laughs> he pretty much toast. He pretty much toast with some jelly, for real. She shooting with the shotty. I got my two people positioned right here by the door. So if he break through, we are gonna tear him up. You dead? You can't mess with the wrong colony. You dead, son. So he just gonna try to escape. He trying to run. She finna lay him down with the shotgun. <laughs> she just popping him with the shotty. Popping him with the shotty. I got my man Macaulay gonna clean up some dead bodies. Oh, man, he is murk. Let me get a little closer. Close and up and personal with the shot. Up close and personal. This dude tough. Ooh. Okay, so he's dead. So we're going to strip them, take them clothes. We can sell the clothes. Um, I'm going to get my other people to also take the weapons, add them to stockpiles. They trying to equip. Why is they trying to equip? Oh, I got to undraft them. So you got to make them haul. Strip each of these people. And like I said, you can sell their clothing. You can also wear it if it's better than your clothing, but their clothing isn't better. You know, they just got, like I said, these tribal garbs. And, um... It's not better than the clothing. We got shirts. We got, uh, well, we're not wearing parkas yet, but we have shirts, you know, pants, dusters, cowboy hats. 
things of that nature. I actually got to make a few more graves too. We running out of grave space. So I'm going to have to add some more warning graves. They should have known not to come up in here. I mean, I had the graves right there just letting them know, but yeah, no, whatever. Oh, my man's suffering from food poisoning. He must have been eating some raw meat. Dang. Suffering from food poisoning. Okay. Dang, bruise. Cracked ribs. Woo. Left clavicle crack, torso bruise, right arm bruise. Luckily, most of them are just bruises. Luckily, most of them are just bruises, but man, crack clavicles? I mean, they really go deep in detail with your body. You know, they can shoot your eye out, shoot your ear off, shoot your hand off. Like, it's crazy. It's real crazy. But I love Real World, man. I love the detail. Um, They minimalize the graphics so that they can give you great great AI great user interface um, it's so much into this game it's so deep it's so deep so uh, with that attack we're gonna go ahead and build a few graves so I can bury these bodies we're gonna collect uh, their items and I think that's a good place to end we'll find some more to do in the next episode they should have known not to mess with our colony and we had to lay them down so that's how we do all right so you can't see me Rim World Alpha 13, the Colony Builder Simulator by Titan and Sylvester. Check it out. Um, you can check it out on RimWorldGame.com uh, or just Google Rim World. Um, it'll be on Steam soon. This is probably the last rendition, but uh, you know it isn't yet. He may include an Alpha 14 uh, before putting it on Steam. But this is a very complete game, very deep, lots of mods. It's a great game, so check it out. So we'll be back on the next episode. If you can't see me, remember Alpha 13. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you want to support, check out the Patreon. And above all things, you know what you must do. Make your next move your best move, all right? Peace. You can't see me, your favorite gamer. Zoom, zoom, Lego. Zoom, 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 Lego.